I'm going to present the flow meter. We'll start by laying out all the components on the table. Here we have three different cables, the regulator, the flow pipe, the end of the flow pipe and the product we're going to measure, plus the silencer. Now we'll assemble all the components. Take the pressure sensor P1 and connect it with P1 on the flow pipe. Plug the cable into the control box. Then connect the sensor P2 with P2 on the end flow pipe and plug the cable into the control box. Now we come to the flow pipe. Connect the cable to the back of the pipe and fasten it securely. Then plug the other end of the cable into the control box. It's very important that you plug each cable into the appropriate socket. You can see that the sockets are labelled. Push and hold down the button for three seconds and you'll see the light switch on. Do the same when you turn it off. Three seconds. Now you can finally connect all the components, the regulator, the product that we're going to measure and the silencer. As you can see, the system has started up so we can start measuring the flow. When you connect the hose, check that the pressure is not over 10 bar. Normally the pressure is around 6 to 7 bar. Use the valve to adjust how many litres you want to flow through. In this case, we want it to be around 900 litres. On the screen, you can see the flow. Pressure at P1 and P2 and the difference between P1 and P2. Once you've completed the measurement, disconnect the hose and change the coupling. Here we have the competitor's coupling. We're connecting everything as before and not changing anything apart from the coupling. Check that everything is assembled correctly and, finally, connect the hose. Now we can start measuring the flow. If necessary, you can adjust the valve to achieve more or less the same value as before. In this case, it's impossible to make any adjustments as the coupling is inferior to the previous one. As you can see, the coupling is showing a reading of only 240 litres and the pressure drop is enormous. To make a report, you can connect a USB memory stick and take a screenshot from the controller. Simply touch the camera icon and save the screenshot to the USB. Always make two pictures to be 100% sure that you have it. Disconnect the USB and plug it into your computer. We provide an Excel file where you can insert the pictures that the customer has seen from your memory stick. Here we're inserting picture number one and picture number two. Once you've inserted the pictures, you need to key in the name of the coupling. In this case, eSafe 320. Then key in the flow and the P1 and P2 figures. The Excel file will calculate the difference between the P1 and P2 results. Do the same with the competitor's coupling. Flow, P1 and P2. On the right side, you can see the graph showing you all the flow in the system as well as the efficiency loss of the tool. Key in the company name, date and done by. You can now save this as a PDF on your computer system. In this case, I'm saving it to the desktop. I've saved the Excel file as a PDF, and now I can print it out and give the customer a copy. This is a great way to do business, as the customer can see the results at a glance. Thanks for watching.